So in this video, I'm going to share with you how you're going to be able to customize your Samsung phones in order to get some very good looks like this ones right here. Let's check this out. So first, you need to get a Good Luck app and Good Luck app is actually not available in many regions. And at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you how you're going to be able to get this app right here. And that's basically very cool. So the first one we're going to use or we're going to check is the theme pack right here. So with the theme pack, you are entitled to create your own theme like we have right here. So this is one of the previous works I did and you can see right here. You can just create your theme per how you want your phone to look like. You can just customize it right away over here. So in case you want to create a theme, you just tap on the create theme and then you want to use a current wallpaper. You can just use the current wallpaper. If you don't want to use a current wallpaper, you can just tap on this one and then you can just go pick on any picture you feel like you want. So let's say you want to use this picture right here. You pick on it and then you come to next and then you customize it the way you want it to look like. You can scroll right here and you can see how everything is going to look like. If you are okay with it, you can just tap on save right here and then it's going to save it. But if you feel you want to edit any section, you can just tap on the section and then you're going to do the editing right away from here on your screen. So let's say you want to just edit this side. You just make sure you tap on it and then you just click OK. And that side is actually going to change right away. And I think that is one nifty thing you guys need to try. But there are lots more you guys are actually going to see in this video. So just make sure you stick around. And if you are content with what you have, you tap on this side right here and then you name it, let's say pack. And after you name it, you go back and then you are going to see your theme being this way. So you can just do your customized theme like you feel you want and you can just come back here. And when you come here, you tap on pack and then you tap on apply and it's going to apply for you and you're going to get your own theme you've actually created. This is one nifty thing I think you guys are going to like and you guys should just try it out. So this is how it's going to look like after you are done with everything. And that is basically very cool. Let's check out the next feature. That is one of my favorites actually. So the next one is called Wonderland. With Wonderland, you are going to be able to create your own wallpaper again and you're going to be able to use live wallpapers on your screens again so you tap on this one right here and then you're going to see this wallpapers right here this is pre-made wallpapers so you can see on your screen let's say this one you can just see right here so if you set it as your wallpaper in your lock screen you're just going to have it directly on your phone and that is space color very cool so when we go right here you're going to see we have a home screen that is actually a moving or an animated home screen and you can see right here we have it on our screen and that's pretty much very cool you can move on to just have more like this one right here you just get it and then you make it as your wallpaper and you're going to get it when you check out your lock screen too you're going to see it right here and that is basically very cool so that is one thing i like about the wonderland too one nifty thing i like about the wonderland too is the animations when you actually lock your screen how the animations you are going to get this is the one right here you come to this one right here and then you scroll down so in case maybe you want this one you tap on it and then you make sure you tap on edit and then when you tap on edit you come to this side right here and then you're going to pick on any of them you feel like you want so this is my favorite actually and after you're done you tap on save and then you make sure you just save it and then you're going to go back and then you make sure you pick that one as you set that one as your wallpaper and when you set it as your wallpaper that's actually not going to be an animated wallpaper it's actually just going to be it's still picture but you're going to get the animations like you can see right here you see so when you just unlock your device you're going to have this animation. I think this is very, very great. You guys should just try it out too. And that's pretty much very cool. Let's check out the next customization you guys are really going to like. The next one is called Lockstar, which is the one everyone is actually going to like. So this one allows you to customize your lock screen. So you can see we have a boring lock screen right here. And this one is actually going to allow you. So I actually make some editing. And you can see right here, I added a YouTube lock screen or a YouTube right here. You can just take it off. And in case maybe you want to add a different one, you can just choose on any widget you feel like you want. That is pretty very great. You can choose to delete it and then you can choose to move your music player anywhere you feel like you want. You can either choose to just bring your clock to right here. And this is very, very nice. It's one thing a lot of people are really going to like. So when you want to change your clock faces, you tap on the small boxes right here and you're going to see your clocks popping up right away. You can swipe through to get any of them if you like one. So let's say we want to pick this one right here and then we just save it. And when we save it, we just lock our phone and we open it and you're going to see our clock popping up right away. This is actually not really visible. So let's try another one and then you're going to see it popping up very well. Let's pick on this one right here and then we click on save. And then you're going to see it's popping up right away on your screen. It was very, very great. I really like how this lock screen is actually and you can just change this one to you tap on it that is your always on display lock screen too you click on that and then you can choose on any of them if you feel like you want and then you just save that 
and when you lock your screen you're gonna have your always on display also this way you can change it any how you feel like you want it pair the customization you feel it suits you your style you can do it right away and then you are good i think i picked on one which is, i think this one is also very great this one is also very great the moon phase is actually dope that is really great you can see the moon phase is gonna pop up and then you're gonna have your always on display like this and if this is your first time don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we have a lot we are going to share with you guys on this channel so let's check out the next thing and we will see how best we can customize our phones so with the next one we're going to go to the keys cafe which is my favorite actually with keys cafe it's going to give you a very nice keyboard so let's say you turn all these toggles on you can choose to customize your own keyboard you can choose to do your own keyboard which if you don't take time you probably might not be able to do it so if you get your, your free time you can just play around with it so you come to styles and then you can pick on any of them you feel like you want so when you pick on any of the styles you feel like you want it's going to pop up as your keyboard and the most one i like is the effects so when you see the effects right here you choose the one you feel like you want and right now i have it turned on so when i start typing this is the effect i'm actually going to see so i'm going to pick on this effect i think i like this effect so that's what is going to pop up when i just tap on my keyboard and if i pick on this one too that is what is going to show when i tap on my keyboard so let's say i start typing something you can see on my keyboard right here you can see how it's behaving this is very very great you can choose any of them you feel like you want and when you switch to dark theme that is when you can see very well because the color starts popping up very very well so you can see this is how the keys cafe is the animation is dope and you guys can try it out and in case you like it just comment down in the comment section so that people would know that keys cafe is not a joke and that is pretty much very cool let's check out the next one which is actually going to blow your mind up so the next on the list is called navi star so with navi star you are entitled to change the color of your gesture right here and also if you are using buttons you're entitled to change the buttons into these ones right here so let's say we want to change the button right away over here it's going to take us to our settings in order to switch to button and afterwards we are just going to switch back right away here we turn this toggle on and when we turn this toggle on we can pick in between the faces we have right here and you can see it keeps changing right away and that is pretty much very cool you can just have these faces right away over here and there are a lot more settings you can have right away when you turn on this toggle you are going to be able to double tap this side and it's going to get your gesture missing on your screen so in case you want to get it back you swipe up like this and then you can just double tap to bring it back right away to this way this is one thing you guys need to try to and if you want to switch back to your normal theme button too you can just tap on this one right here and then you're going to see your buttons popping up right away if in case you want to switch to gestures and then you want to just get that colors customization too you can just swipe on it like this and i've already customized that gesture so when you check out right here and then i turn on this toggle you're going to see that my gesture is going to turn to this color right here which i customized so you can just go down here you turn on this and then you can just pick the color you feel like you want so if i change it to blue it's going to change to blue right away here if i change it to yellow it's going to change to yellow any color i pick that is how my gesture is actually going to change too and that is very great so you can try this one out and in case you like it to just keep it to match the wallpaper you have on your screens and that is pretty much very cool let's check out the next customization you are really going to like too so the next one i'm going to share with you is called home app so home app when you turn the home app on this way you're going to go straight to the down side right here and see tax changer you tap on tax changer you turn tax changer on and you can change your tax from this way to a great form like this so you change it and then you're gonna have your recent opened apps looking this way and that is very great so i think this one is easy to pinpoint or easy to pick than the default one we have right over here you can choose to get stuck too when you check on stack you can choose to get this one and then you can tap on this one too and you can see it this way however you want it you can just pick on them and then you can use you can just pick on this one to slim and then when you swipe up you're going to have your recently opened apps right away here and then that is really great so you can pick on any of these five options right away here and when you feel you are okay with it you just keep that one and that's very very great so that is what you are going to find in home app too and the next one i'm going to share with you is quick star so with quick star it's going to allow you to customize your quick settings right here so when you check out right here you see we have a quick setting right here which is not colorful so we can just turn on quick star and then we type on the style of panel and then we are just going to be able to pick on any of them we feel like we want to suit our wallpaper or however we feel we want so you can just try your hands on any of these ones and you're going to have 
everything popping up like how you want you can see right here and that is pretty much right and the next one i'm going to share with you too is within live app so we go straight to routines so when you go to routines this is going to allow you to set routines let's say maybe your phone is going low you tap on low battery announcements and then you're going to be able to just set a time for or maybe a percentage where your phone gets to that side is going to tell you to charge your phone so you can write anything you feel like you want right here and after you're done you can preview it so when you preview it you're gonna have this one right here charge your phone that's what you're gonna have charge your phone or you can just edit it and then maybe make it maybe charge your phone please so after you are done editing it charge your phone please and then you're gonna have it like charge that phone, so you can choose any one you feel like you want and after you're done you click on done and then you click on save to just save it and you're gonna have it giving you announcements when your phone gets low and that is pretty much very cool let's check out the next one which is actually going to blow your mind too so the next one i'm going to share with you is the sound assistant so with sound assistance it allows you to customize your volume keys or your volume panel right here so when you check out right here you can see we have our volume panel customized you can choose to move it from left to right on your screen right here you can see our volume panel moving from left to right and then you can choose to make the volume show the volume level if you want the level to show the percentage to show you can choose to do it right here you can tap on it and then move it wherever you feel like you want and when you want to expand it to you come to this side and then you can expand it to any way you feel like you want and one nifty thing i want to share with you in this section too is when you scroll down here make your own volume panels you can see right here this is going to give you a flex volume ui so when you turn this one on you can just see right away over here our volume has changed and you can pick in between any of the effects you feel like you want down here so you choose the one that suits you and when you have your volume turned on like that you're going to see it right away. you can choose to come down here and then you can pick on any of the textures and then also you can choose to change in between this one either you want an, a bar or a knob you tap on the bar and then when you tap on your volume that is how it's going to show on your screen you can just do it any way you feel like you want the shapes too you can choose to do it small or you can choose to do it big per how you want it and when you come to the theme too you can choose any of the themes you feel like you want right here these are the recommended ones so you can choose any of them you feel like you want so in case you like any of them too you just pick it on it like this and then you apply it and then it's actually going to just suit your style and that is pretty much very cool and also one thing i like about this one too is when you scroll down here you can change your voice in this section too so you tap on this one and then you turn on this one right here and then you can record your voice anyhow you feel like you want and after you are done you just preview it and then so per how you feel you want it you can just record it and then put it right there and then it's actually going to change your voice anytime maybe when you're on a phone call and you feel you want to change your voice you can just do it right away to make people not know it's you and i think that is a bit okay it's quite shady but maybe some people would really like it and that's pretty much very cool so the next is how you're going to be able to get this good luck app and then you are going to be able to apply all these customizations on your samsung phones so this is how you're going to be able to get the good luck app in order to make all these customizations on your samsung phones in a region which is not supported this is actually not available for everyone in their region so this is what you need to do so first of all we are going to go to the galaxy store right here and i'm going to show you guys i'm just going to search for the good luck app and you're going to see that it's not going to pop up when i look for it it's not going to pop up right here and that is what you guys need to know so first of all what you're going to do is you need to get a vpn and in my case i have a vpn i'm using that is the way inscribe vpn this is not a paid promo or something i'm just sharing with you guys a free one and then you make sure you have your location in either united states or great britain any of them you can get free service right here so the ones with the love is what is free the ones with the stars are paid so you click on the ones with the love so i'm just gonna click on the one with the lab right here and then i turn it on and then after it turns on we proceed so you're gonna have this blue screen right here and then that means it's turned on so what we are going to do next is we are going to go to our settings and then we go straight to our apps here and then what we are going to do again is we remove our sim from our phone we remove our sim card from our phone so that it wouldn't read as the location we are in so we are going to take our sim from our phone right here you take the sim card from your phone and then you just click on okay then you go straight to the galaxy store right here and then you make sure everything is closed let's close every app here and then you make sure 
you come to this side right here and then you come to storage and then you clear the cache right here and then you clear the storage right here right and then you make sure you have your wi-fi on if you don't have wi-fi turned on or you don't have any wi-fi network this is actually not going to work because you've already removed your sim card so what you're going to do next is you go back to your galaxy store right here and then you are going to look for the app right now and it should pop up so when you see right here this pop-up is going to come you make sure you accept all again because it looks like you are entering the app again and then now we are in the apps and then we tap here and then we look for the good luck app now and when we search for it it should pop up so those are right here you can see we have the good luck app popping up right now and that is basically very cool let me know in the comment section what you think and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if this is your first time right here and i'm going to be sharing with you guys more samsung tips check out this video right here in case you missed my previous video on some apps you can install on your android phones i'm going to catch you in the next one peace